What do you think? Just got that out of the I oven? I wish everybody could smell that. Look at that. That looks delicious. Right there. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, the strudel is cooling. The cabbage is cooking. Yeah. And we got some potatoes. Just basically new potatoes, mm -hmm. peeled in butter. Just soaked them in salt butter. Salt and pepper yeah. and fresh parsley. Ooh, that comes on almost every plate over there. Or yeah. French fries. Yeah, French fries were with everything. French fries with steak, with everything. Or they would have dumplings, which look like little pieces of bread. They had potato dumplings. Oh, those were good. I'm telling you what, Yum. it's fantastic. Now, we're gonna take our veal, which you can buy in cutlets. Now, if you're thinking, now what are they making? It's hootie tootie and I don't want any part of that. You think chicken fried steak the best you ever had. Mm -hmm. now, you can do this with pork, you can do this with chicken, but I recommend the veal. Now, we've talked about lard, and we've talked about lard in its purest form. We just found some leaf lard yes. that we didn't know we had, because I was about more. to run out that we found in the freezer. That is good mm -hmm. for you. It is. Good for you. Well, they fry Omega theirs pork fat. Everything's pork fat over there. Pork fat. Now, here's the cool part. Schnitzel is basically a piece of meat that's flattened out and then fried with breading. Okay. Now, this goes way back to the Romans. The Romans were doing this way, way, way back. Italy, they were doing mm -hmm. this. So when they try to look up the history of this, they say, well, was it Austria? They said maybe a little more north into Italy and so on and so forth. So we can tenderize that too. But as I was saying, I got sidetracked a minute ago, the Wiener, mm -hmm. the part that confuses people. You know what the Wiener is? I didn't know. I thought it was sausage. Vienna. Okay. I didn't know that. Vienna schnitzel. Okay. Now, in Austria, if you get Wiener schnitzel, by law, it has to be veal. If it's chicken schnitzel or pork schnitzel, yeah. they have to have specify. All right. Now, we've got our duck eggs. We're going to take these, Mrs. Farmer. We're gonna crack those. Love duck eggs. In fact, our ducks are keeping us so loaded with eggs, we get rid of our chickens. We yeah. give them to Johnny Wilder. So here's the process. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rub just a little bit of sunflower oil. Now we saw this done by one of the top chefs over mm -hmm. there. So we're gonna take just a little sunflower oil after we salt and pepper it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Yum. After we salt and pepper, we're gonna put just a little sunflower oil on that. That's gonna make the flour adhere to that. After we dump it in the flour, we're gonna dip it in the egg and double dip it in the breadcrumbs. That'll pick Yum. that up. Now, you can either get a veal cutlet and you can cut your little thin pieces off of that or sometimes you can find the pre-sliced stuff. Talk to your butcher, go to your favorite meat store, see what they can do for you. We're gonna get our lard going. We're gonna get, I don't know, probably about a half inch. Mm -hmm. We're gonna kind of float it in that hot lard. Oh. Tell me that's not a country beautiful looking plate of food right there. This is some of my favorite food now. I'm telling you, it's hard to beat. I'll put you a little bit of Thank apricot you. jelly on there. Mmm. Mm. That was so put easy. A little lemon on there. That is so oh. good. Taste this cabbage. It tastes like my great grandmother's kitchen. <laughs> Yummy. Isn't that delicious? That's really good. And then you just soak these in butter? Just new potatoes, butter, salt and pepper, and parsley. Mm. And that's what the plates look like over there. This is a restaurant in the Czech Republic. There's a picture of me with a dark beer. That was just for looks. I didn't drink it. Right. <laughs> beer was cheaper than water. You had to buy water. The beer was 50 cents. Now the water was $2.50. Yeah. That was a plate of pork medallions that we talked about earlier. Wow, just right, delicious. delicious. This cabbage is blowing my mind. Try this, people. I mean, just absolutely delicious. You know, we let, met a lot of nice people, too, while mm -hmm. we were there. From all over the United States. Pennsylvania, California, Carolina. It was just a wonderful trip. And we learned so much about mm -hmm. food. You know, everything that here, that was brought here, has got a history way beyond this country. Right. Wow. You can oh cut my this goodness. with your Are fork. Are you kidding me? This cuts with your fork. You don't need a knife. Remember, you can do this pork. Or you can do the chicken. Mm -hmm. Schnitzel, again, is a pressed flattened piece of meat that's breaded and fried. All right, now, speaking of that, we're gonna come back to this in a minute because I don't want that to get too cold. Let's go ahead and slice this and see Cut what right this looks like. Cut right down the middle. Go right ahead, because we're gonna eat this in no time flat. Let's make it my mouth water, because I know what this is gonna taste like. 
How's it look? Well, it looks delicious. Look at that. Just look at that right there. Yeah. Just absolutely beautiful. Mm. 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 The raisins, the lemon, that's delicious. You know what, <laughs> this is a really good meal. I would really like for you to try this. Try some grub you've never tried before. This is not outside of anything that mm -hmm. no, you wouldn't have on a good Sunday afternoon anyway. Right, this is amazing. It's that amazing. is almost silly, it's so good. Yeah. You know what, that's a wrap. But a lot of people, this time of year, are preparing the gardens. Mm -hmm. Now, do you remember way back, one of the first shows we did, before you would even come on camera. Okay. This has never been on KET.